that must be the university. I have grad from Brown University. Oh, 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 where is the mic? Hello folks, my name is Rifat Bari. I'm a master's in physics student at Brown University. Uh, hello everybody, my name is Abono Isaac Barry, and I'm go uh, I'm a bachelor student in math and physics at NYU. So let's do the problem. Okay, so the problem is I have a big box, and I'm going to call it big mass, and I have a, a small box, and I'm going to call it a small mass. Okay, and there is a mu k, of course, over here, right? I'm going to call it mu 1, and there is a mu over here. I'm going to call it mu 2, right? What would be the minimum force you need to apply on the big mass so that this remains stationary with respect to the big M? Okay, so I'm going to give you a few options. Number one oh, is no. mu 1 plus 1 over mu 2. Um, this question was on the AP physics exam a while ago. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. One second. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Number two. Me one plus me two. Uh, is small m plus big m. 1 over g. Wait, so you're saying mu2 is the coefficient of friction on this side of the Yeah, that's right, and this is this side. Number 3, mu1 plus 1 over mu2, m plus big m g. Number 4, mu, uh, uh, mu, uh, mu2 plus 1 over mu1, m plus 1 over big m g. Like this one. All right. Um, Raf is. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me come. Let me come. Let me come. You ready? Yep. All right. Uh, so how much does this force on have to be? Yeah, what would be the minimum force that has to be? So that uh, little m remains stationary. I'm not sure about that one, Ombre. Both of you understood the problem? Yes. Yeah. So this fella is being moved down by... Your concession space is ready? Mm -hmm. His one is ready. Oh, shut up, Refath. Ah, that's unique. I think I see the aspect of this problem. Wait, I'm not seeing it. Mm -hmm. 
So that this stays at rest, right? Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. I see it. I see it. The vision is deep into my head. But how would I calculate that? Let me see. Oh. You want a hint? G is that negative 9.8 meter per second squared. <laughs> That's a wonderful hint, Dad. Thank you so much. You're welcome, baby. <sighs> okay. That was a horrible hint. Wait. Oh, yeah. Babe, uh, uh, you, you want a hint? Babe? Uh, no, no, no. He wants a hint. No, no. Ah, ah. G is negative 9.8 meters mm -hmm. per second square. Okay. I'm not finding anything in, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm vision it deep in my head. You have lots of space. Why you are crowding over there? The chalk demon comes for you at night if you waste any space. You understand that? No, right, big so people can understand it. Okay. <gasps> okay, I've I've got an answer, and thank goodness it's actually one of the choices. Wait, uh, may have rewritten it uh, the wrong way. Oh yes, okay. <coughs> Pretty sure it's one of the answer choices anyway. That might not be the case. Obviously, it's not that. It's not that. It's either that or that. Narrowing it down to two choices means it's just a 50 50, which is good. Let's hope he doesn't cheat. <laughs> Come on, big buddy. You got this. Oh. Okay, yeah, I've got the answer. Um, so I have an we answer. have two, but uh... oh wow, you chose the same one. Yeah. Okay, can, I didn't. Can you explain? Let's see who can give a better explanation between them. Uh, all right. All right. Can I explain first? Yeah. All right. So my method was. Basically, FF2 depends on FN. So that shouldn't be a secret. Now, our goal is to make FF2 equal to MG uh, so that it stays at rest. Now, FF2, what is that? Well, that's just m mu2 FN. But what is FN? FN is MG. No, that's stupid. That's stupid. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry. So it's M plus M. Okay, but why? Why? Well, that's what the normal force is. It's M plus M times G, okay. and then minus F plus FF1. You see why that is, right? Okay, let's think about a simpler example. If we have FN, FG, there are no external forces. They, these are equal, right? Okay. Now, what happens if I push down on the box? Fn, Fn has to be increased. And what happens if I push up on the box? Fn has to be decreased. That's the effect that's happening here. But do you know it's moving at a constant velocity? What? I mean, wouldn't you have to know that to make Fn equal all the forces to the left? No. Why would that matter? Okay. Because, I mean, 
Uh, okay, what do you have here? MMG, okay, that's the weight of these two, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I don't understand why it's not just MG. So you're saying you don't understand why just this? Yeah, why does not just MG? Because it's just FN of this one, right? Well, I mean, it's not accelerating if you just have FN and FG, and then if you push up with some force FA, you would agree that FN decreases, so FN plus FA equals FG, right? Okay. Because otherwise, it's just going to fly up or fly down. Okay, a let's similar say thing. I accept the argument for now. Let's see if you get the right answer. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is equal to... Then we do some funky stuff, mainly mg divided by mu2 is equal to m plus mg minus f plus ff1. So then just by rearranging, we get f equals m plus mg plus ff1 minus mg over mu2, you factor out the, oh, you factor out the g, ff1 is obviously just mu1, fn, yes, which is just capital mg, right? Yes. So that's why we factor out g to get m plus m plus M mu one M minus M over mu two. Then things like okay, keep going. Then we uh, uh, channel some ancient magics and realize that this basically looks the same as mu one plus one over mu two. <laughs> So you didn't actually get this choice? No! Uh, so All right, both okay. of them make a concession speech. No, well, I got what? the right answer. No, I got the right answer. No, how? Three. No, you wrote it uh, because you huh? took this test oh. before. No, no. You memorized the answer. No, no. I... So how did you? Did okay. you derive it? No, I, I have a reason to tell you. Okay. Uh, okay. If if the loser accepts your reasoning. Okay. okay. <laughs> No, right. no, don't look at the physics. There was no physics in one. Okay. Answer. Let me explain. No, yeah. let me ask him nicely. Okay. Do you accept his uh, answer? No. Both of okay. you. No, no, I, let me explain how I got the okay. answer. At least I did no. it methodically. I did, I did it methodically, methodically too. Because, no. uh, because I know that G has to be factored in, so it can't be 1. Oh, and it's true. not inverse of G. Uh, Jeff, you because have to be, you have a little bit fair. There are absolutely. You did not derive it, you cannot yeah. say. Yeah. There were no. no there, were, there were no inverse of G terms, oh so it can't be 2. You so you never. So you narrow it down to three and four, and then you see the end expression just gives you mu one and mu two on the bottom. Okay. So it can't be four; it has to be three. No, listen, that's not that's not okay. no, what I did was very simple. What do you have to find? The force, minimum the force, force needed to mm -hmm. uh, make the other yeah. box test. And um, if you do dimensional analysis, only T has the units of force. Look, look at it. Oh, no, oh, okay, no, this no, is... no, you cannot do that. No, no, no. Yeah, you cannot do that because I no. made, I, I, the book has other options. I oh. made them up in a go. Oh, it has other yeah, yeah. Oh. Other options that also give you the Newton. Oh. I did not think about that. Okay, anyway, both of you, both of you uh, give a concession. But I got it. No, no. But I didn't use focus dimensional analysis. Or at least you give half of the concession speech. My fellow physics citizens. No, 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 that's not good. Right. You no. said give half. No, no, give the full. My fellow physics citizens, I hope you were delighted to hear that I have triumphed in battle over this dimwit numchuck numb brain numb nuts and who was apparently a master student in physics at Brown University, but can't even get a basic GRE problem right. And this isn't even like quantum mechanics or relativity or electromagnetism. This is literally stuff you learn in high school. So even if I didn't get the totally right answer, at least I justified it when all he used was dimensional bullcrap.
Okay, unlike the other competitor, I won't be a sore loser. So, uh, my dear physics uh, citizens, including Sir Isaac Newton and Al Albert Einstein, I'm sorry I disappointed you. Uh, next time I'll do better. So, uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.